The Barrymores have more stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame than any other family. Lionel Barrymore was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and his mother and father were both actors. Lionel's father was called Herbert Arthur Chamberlain Lyle. He was born in England. Much to the chagrin of his family, he became an actor, and he changed his name to Morris Barrymore. He came across the pond to work in the United States, and it was there that he met actress Georgina Emma Drew, and they got married. Now, she came from a big acting family, and they had Lionel, and that means Lionel is Drew Barrymore's great uncle, and his parents would be her great grandparents. Lionel Barrymore played the title role in Rasputin and the Empress. Oh, not the Empress, Rasputin. Lionel Barrymore also has a star for radio. And here we have Lionel's younger sister, Ethel Barrymore. So yes, this means that Ethel is Drew Barrymore's great aunt. Georgina Drew fell ill with tuberculosis. Now a 14 year old Ethel accompanied her mother to Santa Barbara to a retreat and unfortunately Georgina passed away. After her mother died, the family was broke so she had to trod the boards and her first play, she starred opposite her uncle John Drew Jr. who was her mother's brother. Her uh, first talking picture, she played the title role in Rasputin and the Empress. Uh, not Rasputin, she played the Empress. And now we have... Ethel's baby brother, John Barrymore, and Drew's grandfather. In the year 1901, John's father, Morris Barrymore, went insane on a vaudeville stage during a performance due to syphilis. Poor John had to take him to Bellevue. Ethel paid for her father's insane asylum bill, uh, bill in Amityville. And Lionel went to visit his father in 1905. He mentioned San Francisco, and Morris went nuts and said, Crazy boy! San Francisco burned to the ground! He died in 1905, and in the year 1906, John ended up in San Francisco performing a play during the Great Earthquake, and San Francisco burned to the ground. Dolores Costello was John Barrymore's third wife, and that means she is Drew Barrymore's grandmother. They had two kids in 1930 and 31, Dolores and John Jr., respectively. John Barrymore was not a title character in the film Rasputin and the Empress, but he played Prince Paul. So if you're following along, that means this is the only motion picture with all three Barrymores. And yet there's another fun fact about this picture. Living members of the Russian royal family sued MGM for defamation, and they won. And this created that disclaimer we see to this day before movies. The characters and events depicted in this photo play are fictitious. Any similarity to actual persons living or dead is purely coincidental. And in the year 1935, he divorced Dolores. Now in the absence of a father figure, John Jr. would eventually drop the Jr. by changing his name to... John Drew Barrymore in 1958. See what he did there? He uh, took his grandmother's maiden name and he inserted it for his middle name, and therefore, no longer a Jr. Very clever. Here's a picture of mom and son, John Jr., later John Drew, and Dolores Costello. His first film appearance was in the year 1950, and his third film appearance, he had the lead role at the age of 20. It was a Western called High Lonesome. Um, he made a few more pictures after that, but unfortunately, he did not inherit his dad's acting ability and did not make it as a viable box office star. He did inherit his dad's addiction problem. And in the year 1953, he had his first arrest for drunk driving. He would be plagued by that and possession of drugs and unfortunately, domestic violence. But mostly he made his money as an actor being a guest star on television, ergo his star for TV. He did get the part of Lazarus guest star on Star Trek, but no showed. And the Screen Actors Guild suspended him for six months. His last acting appearance was in the year 1976 in a film, and it was uncredited. Unfortunately, he inherited his dad's love him and leave him attitude towards women. He would be married four times, and each marriage would produce an offspring. Now, his third marriage produced his now famous daughter, Drew Barrymore. Unfortunately, 
her father left her and her mother when she was only six months old. Now at age seven, she starred in the film E.T., The Extraterrestrial. Unfortunately, she inherited her father's and her grandfather's drug addiction. And she was in rehab at the age of 13. At age 14, she had a suicide attempt and that put her back into rehab. It was spending three months with sober singer David Crosby that got her sober and at age 15 she moved into her own apartment. In 2003 she found out that her estranged father had cancer. So she moved him next door to her and paid bills. Kind of reminds me of Ethel paying her father's bills. Now, in my hometown of Lincoln, Nebraska in downtown in an alleyway which was the old actor's entrance is a bar called Barrymore's named after the famous family. They have built a bar behind what used to be the stage, and the restrooms are upstairs in the old dressing room. You can feel the ghosts of all the actors, including Lionel, Ethel, and John. They had to be there. They just had to. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesday. I will see you next week in Hollywood. If you want to hear more about all of the Barrymores, Lionel, Ethel, John, and Drew, just click on these links. The Barrymore family, wow, what a legacy.